Dr. James Gates, a theoretical physicist, has become a notable figure in discussions regarding the idea that our universe might be a computer simulation. His exploration of this concept ties into his work in string theory and supersymmetry, where he identified patterns that suggests a deep mathematical order in the fabric of the universe. One of the most intriguing aspects of his research is the discovery of error-correcting codes, the same kind of codes used in digital systems, raising the possibility that the universe operates under principles similar to those governing computer programs. This idea has sparked debates in both the scientific community and popular culture about the nature of reality. James Gates' foray into the theory we might live inside a computer simulation began with his work on adinkras, graphical representations used in supersymmetry. Supersymmetry is a theory that attempts to unify the forces of nature by suggesting a symmetry between matter particles called fermions and force-carrying particles called bosons. In his work, Gates found that certain types of adinkras contain structures that resemble error-correcting codes, the same codes used in computer systems to detect and correct errors, ensuring that data is transmitted accurately. This discovery raised the possibility that the fabric of the universe is based on computational principles. Error-correcting codes in physics suggests there is some form of underlying structure that appears to be fixing or correcting information as it travels through the universe. These are the same error-correcting codes that digital computers use to prevent glitches in data transmission. While this doesn't directly prove that we are living in a simulation, it introduces the idea that the universe may behave like a digital computer with built-in systems to manage and preserve the flow of information. This notion supports the idea that the universe could be a simulation designed to function without errors, just as computer programs correct glitches to maintain their intended operation. The idea that our universe is a simulation has been popularized by philosophers such as Nick Bostrom, who posited the simulation argument in 2003, according to proponents of the simulation hypothesis. This finding could be interpreted as evidence that our universe is governed by algorithms, much like a computer simulation or program. However, it's important to note that Gates himself has not definitively concluded that we are living in a simulation. Instead, he points out the interesting parallels between digital error correction techniques and the mathematical structures he observed in the physical universe. He remains cautious about drawing hard conclusions, emphasizing that more evidence would be needed to confirm this extraordinary claim. While the discovery of error-correcting codes in the mathematical structures governing the universe is fascinating, it has also been met with skepticism. Many physicists argue that just because the universe appears to operate in ways that resemble computational processes, it does not mean that it is a literal simulation. The universe could simply follow mathematical laws that, coincidentally, resemble computer algorithms. Another key criticism is that the simulation hypothesis is difficult to test or falsify. The scientific method relies on hypotheses that can be proven or disproven through observation and experimentation. The simulation hypothesis struggles in this regard, even if we find more evidence of computational processes in the universe. It's going to be hard to determine whether these are a natural part of physical reality or the result of a programmed simulation. The idea that our universe is a simulation may reflect a human reliance on technology, digital computing, and the language we use to describe the universe. In essence, it is being shaped by the very tools we invent. In earlier times, people might have compared the universe to a clockwork mechanism or an intricate machine because those were the dominant technologies of the day. Similarly, today's discussions about the universe being a simulation may reflect our own preoccupation with computers and digital systems. James Gates's work has opened up new areas of inquiry in theoretical physics, particularly in understanding how mathematical structures relate to the physical universe. The continued exploration of supersymmetry, string theory, and other aspects of quantum mechanics may yield more clues about whether the universe operates in a mathematical framework used in computer algorithms. While there has been no definitive proof confirming the simulation hypothesis, the debate continues to draw interest from a variety of fields, including computer science, physics, and philosophy. 
Some researchers are even exploring whether future quantum computers could simulate small-scale physical systems and offer a potential method for testing the feasibility of simulating an entire universe. Additionally, physicists like David Z. Albert and Sean Carroll have discussed whether the fundamental nature of reality could ever be fully understood given our current technological limitations. New discoveries in quantum mechanics and cosmology could either bolster or refute the simulation hypothesis. For now, Gates's discovery remains a tantalizing possibility that challenges us to rethink the boundaries between physics and computer science. His discovery of error-correcting codes in the equations governing the universe supports the idea that reality may have computational properties based in math, a similar process our computers use. While it does not prove we live in a computer simulation, it suggests that the fabric of the universe operates according to rules that resemble software that drive our computer systems. As the simulation hypothesis continues to evolve and attract attention, Gates's work proves that the universe may be more complex and enigmatic than we can currently comprehend. Whether or not we are inside a simulation, the parallels between information theory and physics point to deeper mysteries about the fundamental nature of reality. Mysteries that scientists and philosophers will continue to explore in the coming years. We thank you for watching and we'll see you in our next episode.